brothers welcome back to territorial.io we're starting off today here in the world for a little 24 person free-for-all action where are we gonna go south america is once again looking pretty unoccupied i could go up north ah no that's crowded i like our spot it was just like oh north america is a little crowded but people are going on the edges which is baffling uh, it's definitely worthwhile going in a little bit of more of the middle put you more competitive for some land so we have a good chance of at least becoming the biggest player here in africa now my big fear is i only saw like three players in asia which is going to be a big concern if we're not able to overcome that you know that's this is going to be a huge out but we'll see what we can do we might be able to speed run through the, the americas and that's really the only way we're going to win a small match like this so we'll have to be kind of aggressive here we'll see what we can do we definitely need to be aggressive in the opening so let's go ahead and get started now with our infinite growth phase and just get as big as we possibly can if we run out of room we'll be fine we can definitely i just need to push more into the the west that needs to be the priority number one see if we can encapsulate any bots behind us south is also going to be a priority it's 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 a real big you know pressure cooker right now that if we don't get a lot of land right now we're going to get stalemated in south america and we're going to lose to whoever wins in asia that's kind of what we're fearful of right now so we have to move absolutely very fast as long as we don't have less troops than the people or than the people around us i think we're fine and uh fortunately for us the player in the south didn't get off to an amazing start so we're going to be able to grab a lot of land so we, yeah we do have the crown for right now will we lose that probably absolutely that's a real like gonna happen type scenario even though we do have it by about seven thousand pixels right now so we we gotta look for an opportunity uh opportunities right here but he's a timor timor is attacking the guy down south so we'll help finish up that and see if we can squeeze on down south oh it's gonna be close <laughs> can we get to antarctica oh we might be able to get antarctica okay we gotta really be boats on here we got a advance beyond the the blue guy to more so yeah we've we've dropped a fifth we knew this was gonna happen wow did nobody spawn in antarctica wow that's huge that's really huge for us we can get all this i do see tomorrow sending a boat down but you know, we're gonna touch down first hopefully we're gonna have enough speed on land to be able to pass him over here in the east yeah yes we will okay good 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 we're gonna be fine on that front and we just keep expanding and now it's a race to get to antarctica before anybody else does because if we do not do that we're gonna be again pretty screwed in fifth place fortunately i don't see anybody boating from africa yet which i i can't believe that hasn't happened if we can get the if we can touch down we're gonna be fine we just gotta get through austin and kingdom of Dismond, and we're gonna be just fine and go 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 nobody's touched down someone said okay the red player is sending a boat from africa now let's finish up here over here though so we don't get cut off just a little bit of options i'm going to attack this one player in mexico just once just to be able to cut off the blue player from being able to expand but now that we have antarctica it's again a land race here as i see two boats coming down from africa and i also need to make sure to keep up a little bit of presence here so we don't get boated around and we go we're not at 60,000 pixels yet which is the first speed boost you get i do see the red player canceled his boat but not the black uh, the player the islam free guy let's go oh we're we're not getting as much he's not gonna be able to cut us off he's behind us he's got 46,000, so we'll eventually get to 60,000 before him i do see the player in australia is also boating over here but we need to keep our focus in north america making sure that we don't lose any land there almost at 60,000 uh yeah we're gonna be able to beat that boat i think that boat's going up actually never mind okay <laughs> we're fine we're fine hey mexico doesn't have any troops by the way let's jump on that now we're at sixty thousand, so we're gonna be able to beat off uh the play the advance from the player in uh from africa and now we'll we're looking sharp okay we actually have the crowd but i told you it was gonna be a speed run and that's how we treated it and that's the only reason we're in the position that we are much stronger than a lot of the other players especially in north america and you've got a lot of land mr osmondley and the uh the puke colored player the kingdom i think it's still a bot dude no way i don't know what happened in north america but it was quite the tragedy as osmondley was only a minute away from becoming a strong player himself but we just happened to hit there just at the right moment and now we'll grab all this land looks like as another osmondley not sure if that's a multi-counter or not osmondley is a pretty popular name so i doubt it but hey that works out for us let's grab the rest of this land and ooh. okay so we're not out of the woods yet there's some big players brewing up in africa and we need to finish off Timor since he's left and become a bot grab all of his land 
and we need a boat up to Africa to have a say. I'm choosing the player on the west as a little bit of a shield because I don't want to share land with the uh, the stronger players in uh, Asia. So once we get through this guy, we are just going to relax for a minute and wait until we get to the red player in Africa. Once we get to him, we'll be able to grab a lot of land. We'll share some land with Islam Free, which is fine. But uh, we won't loot. He'll, he'll be a buffer so that none of the other players will grab any of the land from this European Union boy. So we're about to touch down there. We want to make sure that we don't get kicked off. We got to have a big force and a big showing once we land. And go. Okay, good, 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 good. We're on a sharp pace. And we just continue to keep going from here. We have so many troops at this point. I'm just going to really push my advantage. We only have 37% of the land, so we're not exactly in a winning position quite yet. We definitely can lose if we don't play our borders well. And speaking of board playing our borders well... I'm actually just going to boat directly into this UZB guy and have a 1v1 versus him. Now, Islam, if he attacks me, is not the biggest concern. He only has 70,000 pixels, so we could just tank his attacks while we fight the UZB guy. But if we could take him down first, we win the game. I'm going to get some boats over here just in case we do get kicked off. I don't... It's going to be hard for UZB. UZB would basically be sacrificing himself to kick me off. We'll take that alliance down there, by the way. And as soon as we touchdown big attack good now it's gonna be really hard for him to kick us off we have yeah now we're in a good place we don't mind uh touching any other of uh, the plug uh, touching any of the other players excuse me a little tongue twister there and yeah he's he's sent a lot of troops but it's far too late he's only got five million left we got 26 million and red interest so we just push for this and grab all of the land securing our victory at 52 percent let's go and uh we will take out uh pl for the for the style points obviously we want all of asia we don't want to just get to 50 and be like okay good enough you know no no i, I refused and i'll let him have uh like australia but i i at least want to be able to take out one more big player but that was that was what this game needed to be if it didn't happen fast it wasn't going to happen for us at all especially as that uzb guy was just on the brink of becoming an absolute monster he could have absolutely ruled the board give him a little bit of time to go into the islam guy and get africa that would have been the end of us but uh we were able to cut that off in time and that's gonna do it on this one so we'll say gg so all involved get that guy a piece down there say claps of good sportsmanship and peace peace and kissy face for the boys and we'll go on to the next game next game up is going to be a 23 player teams battle here in the middle east there's a number of corgi boys on today very excited about that let's uh go ahead and pick a spot probably up here just to disrupt this white player's uh ability to expand give our team a little bit more op options in the south it is a little bit more of a sacrificial role but at the same time we can definitely be a good team player by giving our teammates the ability to kind of grow from the south and expand from there so that's what we need to focus on here corgi mario is off to a hot start we will oh he's down south of us. hello sir I was just looking on the leaderboard now fortunately for us the what the player on the white team above us has actually not expanded he might not be playing if he doesn't expand on this next one he's not gonna be a threat at all and in fact that does seem to be the case it looks like he does he left the game which is great for us we're just gonna over expand past him and yeah he's not a threat at all let's go ahead and grab all the land so that drastically changes our game plan where once we were in a support role now we're definitely in more of a we could be the kings ourselves role now we do have to uh, untangle ourselves from all these bots but that's not gonna be an issue especially as we don't have anybody to compete with us against or for any of these bots and we have a lot of opportunity so we'll just continue to keep you sir please leave uh going and we do want to make sure we get to the coast because the only thing that actually that will slow us down is our bots they've blocked up the north for us which is a little bit unfortunate but we do have a, a path over that we can take so i'm not the most concerned and we can get a path up north as well so let's grab as much land as we can we do have the crown and the, the Corgis are leading the charge. Uh, five of the top six are all on the Corgi team, which is a great sight to behold. So I think we boat over to this bot, see if we can get a little bit of land. I don't like you coming over, sir, and grabbing all that all these bots. That's a lot of bots you could potentially get. I want those bots to donate to me. Now, I don't have the troops to really slow this down. We do have a foothold over here now, which is great. So I'm going to actually just attack you right now and just see what we can do. Mario is over there grabbing a bunch of land from the Khan Empire. Fantastic. We keep going. Board Demon. Oh, I just played a game with Board Demon. It was it was a weird 
weird game we had a third teammate who just didn't grab land and like stopped playing but was still like emoting it was i don't know what his plan was but it was it was uh it was a sight to behold <laughs> so poor demon at the end was just as frustrated as i was hey let's go up here this guy doesn't have any troops as we keep fighting down this guy i am trying to slow down these attacks i don't want to be attacking i just want to stop him from attacking is essentially what's going on especially as we have all these bots to kind of weaken them up as, in this process so now we save for the russian empire and wait for that to occur we also have to be cautious of ali over here who's got a lot of troops we have more but we want to be able to hit the expansion up north with a lot of strength especially as russian empire is sending a lot of troops to attack bots way too many i'm not sure of the logic of that if he's a new player sir if you see this uh the speed of which you attack is not based on how many troops you send which does seem a little bit counterintuitive and is a mistake that i see a lot of new players make but let's go ahead and grab the rest of greece and uh, not look a gift horse in the mouth we're next to the crown but he has about half the troops that we do hmm we could save up or we could just attack him right now we have a lot of board presence as a team 67 percent. so i'm just gonna hit the attack and there we go yeah so things are looking very good for us as we already have 68 percent board demon and i are fighting for the crown at this point android user 133 has left the game we have two million troops at our disposal so i think honestly that we just keep going i mean what's the point like yeah save up a little bit so ali doesn't slow us down and unfortunately mario's taking a little bit of a full sin but that's he's gonna be able to recover from that so we'll just keep going into android user 133 board demons over there so is oh i have no idea i have no idea the language i'm gonna say Silaric. it could be off the Silaric player what's the beat what's the guy in second place what's that symbol the the b with like the line on it anyways we'll grab this <laughs> it's not important it's not important it's the adhd brain at work boys all right so we'll grab cyprus and go into ali the last player on the board she did a, a good job he or she did a good job of holding the line but it was ultimately just all of our team got off to a fantastic start and we were able to collapse on that so ggs to all involved just give the collapse good sportsmanship and say thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next one and a special thank you to all of my members with shout outs to producers chris mitchell kevin eddie stamps obama toes christopher ryan's american patriot quagsire lover 32 executive producers miss gets the mallard a137 mason slash aurelius rob drake rob coleman uther Econom, noob rex jack russell sakari scarlet morwin ogan gabriel demented brock lowry J jeremy daniels crushland and channel sponsors daniel stevens and maverick 149 thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one